Hi there and welcome into this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching how you can use gravity manipulation in your game. So I'm going to be creating a few abilities. The first one is to make an object like this one, to make it lighter like that, and then to be able to make it heavier like this. Now it is too heavier to move. Then to be able to disable the gravity of the object like that and to enable to grab it again and of course to change the gravity of your character itself like that so this should take a few seconds and it's going to be enabled again to do this i'm going to be using the third person template so as you can see i have nothing created yet and the way that i think about this ability is that you can use in three different ways the first one being if you want to change how, let's say, if your object is a little bit lighter or heavier. And the second one is if one should disable the gravity for an object. So this would be a form of gra gravity manipulation. And the last one is if you want to change the gravity in your character. So I'm going to be showing these three options. For that, first thing that I'm going to be doing is to create an object that's going to be the object that we're going to be manipulating. For that, right click, uh, let's go actually to content, right click and blueprint class, select actor. This one is going to be our BD underscore object. Open this up. And this is just for the demonstration. I am going to be adding a simple cube over here. You can use anything for that. And I'm going to be selecting here into simulate physics. So just remember with our cube selector, go to simulate physics and that's it. Now compile it, save it and that's our object. I'm going to be placing this in our world and this is the object that I'm going to be showing how to manipulate. First thing, uh, I want to know what object I want to be manipulating say, or basically what object our character should be selecting. For that, I'm going to our content drawer and I'm going to third person, blue print, BP, third person character. If you are using the first person template, you're going to be doing basically the same thing. But over here, I am going to be getting uh, just a bit more space over here. And I'm going to be getting our follow camera. And actually, first thing, I'm going to be getting a key. The first one, I'm going to just get the number one key and our keyboard key for this and I'm going to be creating line trace by chain so for that just get line trace by channel and it's not the mush line trace by chain is going to be the singular one this one over here from our follow camera I'm going to get word location like that get a bit more space over there then our start from our line, line trace by chain is going to be our word location from our camera. And then I'm going to get from our follow camera, I'm going to get forward vector. Then I'm going to get a multiply from this vector. Over here, I'm going to multiply two vectors, but that, instead I want to change this second value into a, a float. So just right click, then here select to float like that. I think for this, I'm going to be using, see, I think 5,000. Yeah, that should be good. And then what I'm going to be doing is to get this value from our Lord location. I'm going to be adding this forward vector into here and then place as our end. So basically what this is going to do is that I'm going to be creating a line trace to select an object that is front of our camera. Just to show you this, I'm going to be drawing the book type. So just select here for duration and that's it. Compile, save it. Now in our word, when I press the number one, as you can see, I am creating a line trace by channel and is hitting something. Uh, if I hit our box, I'm going to be detecting and create an event. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. So here. The first, I think for the first event, I'm going to be changing how much at this object weight. So for that, I'm going to be going to our BP object and event graph. In our BP object, I'm going to right click and select custom event, add custom event. This one is going to be for change weight. And basically what I'm going to be having here as well is an input that's going to be, let's say, 
and it's going to be a float like that and I'm going to get our cube and I'm going to just set weight I think exactly I think it is set mass yeah so set our mass scale from our cube like that and then place the quantity over here like that compile it save it now let's go into our bp third person character and from out hit i'm going to break this result and then i am going to get this hit actor and i'm going to cast to bp uh second cast to bp object like that place this hit actor into here and then our cast into our line trace by chain like that and then get the event change weight so that's basically what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be selecting this and then I can set how much I want this to wait. So let's say, let's do it 0.1, something like that. Let's compile it, save it. Now let's go into our world. As you can see, I am pushing this forward. If I hit the button one, I change how much this, I made this lighter. And now let's do the same thing, but this time let's make it heavier. So I'm going to be copying this function, paste it down here. This one I'm going to be deleting and I'm going to just get the number two. You can use any key that you want for this. Then print press on press. We could also change the scale of the gravity, but I think it would be a little bit easier if you set the mass for this difference. And then later on, I'm going to be showing how we can disable the gravity as well. So for now, now I'm going to make this, let's say, 10 times heavier with the number 2. Compile it, save it, let's go into our word. So I'm pushing this forward, then I'm going to press the number 2, and now it's just too heavy for me to push it. Now let's press the number 1, and it should be going back, yeah. So now it's a lot lighter than before. And then go back to 10, just like that. So this is the first type of manipulation that you can be using. The next one, I'm going to be showing how to disable the gravity. For that, let's go into our BP object and I'm going to be creating another custom event. This custom event is going to say, let's say, disable gravity, like that. And then I'm going to have one input that is on or off. So let's just get on, like that. And on second, on like that, and then get a boolean. And then from this, I'm going to get a branch. Then place this in our branch. And then from this, I'm going to get our gravity. So just set gravity, set enable gravity for our cube, just like we have done with our mass. Place it down here, like so. And then this is both for true and for false like that uh, uh, for true i'm going to be leaving this as gravity true enable and for false disable and now compile it is save it let's go back into our bp third person character let's just make a few comments so this is to change weight light and this one is for change weight have like that you can just select these comments and also make it show bubble like that yeah, like so. Now let's create another one. So this one is going to get the number three key. And I'm going to just be getting, I'm going to be getting the same event. You could collapse this to a macro if you want, it's up to you. Uh, so I'm going to just be getting this part over here, pasting down here, just to give you this small example. And I'm actually going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be, making another event actually i have already made that event so i'm going to just be getting this disable gravity so let's just get disable gravity here i need to make it it either on or off so i'm going to just be leaving it as off by default so compile it save it now let's go into our word so i can change the weight of this object and i can also make it float like that so right now it has no gravity at all uh, let's create another event to make it enable again. So I'm going to just be getting this again, pasting it down here. This time I'm going to make this 
on. So just get another key. This time it's going to be key for key like that. And to press it, compile it, save it. Let's go back. So now I can just disable the gravity of this object and I can enable it again. I can make this object heavier and I can make this object lighter, just like that. So this is our ability of graphics manipulation and you can use the same system to, to use this in different objects. Uh, you don't need to be using cast for this, you could implement an interface. So let's say here, since there is only one, one object, it's easier with a cast, but later on you can just implement the interface for the objects that you are planning to manipulate in your game. So this is to disable gravity and then just show bubble and then this one is for enable gravity and then show bubble as well so the next one is if you want to change uh, the gravity of your character so let's say you want to make your character float or something like that so for that i'm going to get the five key and I'm going to get our character movement and I'm going to set the gravity. So uh, I could set the gravity scale and I think it would be the best option for this. So right now it is at zero, uh, actually it is at one, but I'm going to be changing it to zero. Then let's say a little bit later on, I'm going to just get a delay over here of let's say five seconds. I'm going to be enable it again like that, just copy this paste it down here so let's say you want to give ability for your character to be able to disable the gravity to get to a different platform or something like that and then it's going to be enable after a few seconds or you could just create another key to enable it again it's up to you so now if i press the button to number five in, uh, in my keyboard i am going to start to float it should take about five seconds to enable gravity again so yeah five seconds and again so let's see, right now with top the jump, I have disabled gravity and as you can see, I am floating. After a few seconds, it enabled again. So that's basically what I'm going to be, what I wanted to show to you. So this is character gravity. So this is gravity manipulation. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this uh, be useful in your project. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Visit train.memetinteract.com and enroll into this course to get all source files. Use coupon code MEMETY to enroll for free.